it's time to hit the jackpot because you're listening to How to Bet, hosted by Daryl Fine and Sean Miller, breaking down betting into four categories to help you stay ahead of the game, sharing their thoughts, opinions, and analysis on how to bet it, where to bet it, and who to bet on. Now here are your hosts, Daryl Fine and Sean Miller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to HowToBet.com or HowToBet.com podcast. I'm Daryl Fine along with Sean, the genius Miller, Neri Rodriguez, and it is uh, time to break down game one uh, in New Orleans at 6.09 Eastern time uh, on Saturday. Villanova and Kansas. Kansas a four-and-a-half point favorite. 133 is the total. And uh, a reminder, go to howtobet.com. There you're going to click on the links. You'll see links. Click it on, and you're going to get uh, different odds from various sports books around the country. You see there uh, the betting lines between Villanova and Kansas, uh, the two games that are left. And if you go down a little, if you scroll down a little further, you're going to see uh, different opportunities from sports books around the country. Uh, you see them there in bold. You're going to see our, the best bets, uh, you know, your, your best lines. Uh, Sean mentioned in our first segment that, uh, hey, there's, there's a big difference between some of these sports books. Uh, if you're betting a decent amount of change, you know, th- that 30 cents adds up big time. Also, you watching on YouTube, please hit that like button, the notification bell, and above all, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to howtobet.com. So, Sean, it is uh, game one Saturday, 609, New Orleans, Villanova, a 2C, Kansas City, uh, Kansas City, Kansas, the Jayhawks, the only one seed remaining in the tournament. Again, a four and a half point favorite. 133 is the total. Villanova, a little banged up. All right, so that that you know, a lot of people are, are you know, Villanova has no chance. Uh, they lost more. Uh, you know, listen, they, they could be right, but I you know, uh, Daniel Scal Daniels comes in. He, he's started before. He's played a lot of minutes. The problem is, or the you know the the formula here is, can Villanova play those five guys for thirty five minutes without getting in foul trouble? Archie Diacono comes in, you know, spells a little bit of time, maybe gets eight to 12 minutes. Uh, if everybody can stay out of trouble in Villanova, can that happen? It's interesting. Uh, first of all, are, are, are you stunned this game is the early game, by the way, and not uh, the North Carolina? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> not, not, um, not at all. I think, I think, uh, I think TV yeah, got it right. Help me really understand my family. Oh, what we got? So, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, that's good. Uh, when you when you look at uh, this matchup predictor here, um, it's interesting. They they still have Villanova as like a fifty one point three percent favorite to win this game. Over, I, you know, I, I find pretty interesting. Um, you know, both teams play really good defense. You know, obviously Villanova is you know held so, Houston to forty four. Yeah. So here's Villanova in the tournament. Delaware scored sixty. Ohio State sixty one. Michigan 55, Houston 44. Yeah. That's pretty good defense. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Kansas held to Miami to 50 after they were losing halftime. They absolutely annihilated them in the second half. You know, the, the Villanova averages 71.9 points a game and gives up 55. Kansas averages 78.3 points a game, which is almost seven points more and only gives up about four points more at 59.8, which I find pretty interesting there. Um, I, I, I think if Villanova was healthy, uh, you know, I think maybe you give them a shot here. Uh, I, I just, the line later, is well, later, low. We're, later in the show, we're going to, we're going to give you reasons why every team, or, or, and it, well, listen, yeah. nobody would be shocked if any of these four teams won that ship. So later in the show, we're going to give you reasons why each one can, but. Look, in this one with the four and a half points, let's just talk four and a half points for, here. One thirty-three. For me personally, I you know I want obviously North Carolina to win. I would love Villanova to win because I think you know we we need a little payback for twenty sixteen. I just don't see it. I love you know I think Kansas is uh, this this kid Remy Martin. I mean he terrific. was a, he was a stud at, at Arizona State. State. Yeah. He, he, was he, he didn't have a great. Regular season, he averaged nine points a game. He's a little and, banged up. He's a little banged yeah, up. he's a little banged up, and he's just now he's healthy and he's a star. I mean, he's you know scoring twenty points a game in this thing, and he's been big for them. And you know, it's just you know you, when you have to stop him and st- you know the, 
Kansas is pretty deep. I mean, they, just just with the scores. I mean, they, they get points from all over the place. I just I don't know if Villanova is going to be able to. I know Villanova slows everyone down, but I just don't know if they're going to be able to slow down everyone on this Kansas team. So I had I had Villanova against Delaware, Ohio State, and Michigan. I didn't have him against Houston. I, I laid off that game. I was nervous about mm-hmm. that game. Houston was playing so well. I don't like going against Villanova in those situations. So I laid off the game. Um, I think uh, four and a half here. I think it's a close game. Even even without more, I think uh, Jay Wright arguably, even with Coach K here, Jay Wright arguably the best coach in this Final Four. Um, I, I, I he's like third or fourth, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he'll have them ready. Uh, I'm sure they'll have them prepared. It's, uh, again, it's going to come down. Really, the officiating is going to play a big part in this game because uh, Villanova needs to really keep their five on the floor as much as they can. I'm not knocking Archie Diak. He's just not ready. He's not his brother. He's not Ryan. It's, it's, um, I, if he if if they only need him between eight and twelve minutes, I think they'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to take the four and a half in this game. Uh, you going the other way? Yeah, I take Kansas. And I, you know, one of these things I love here is you know I, I like the team total points. Right now, you know, the team total points about sixty eight and a half for Kansas. But you know, some of the alternate spreads. If you if you bump that up to seventy one and a half, you can get it like plus one fifty. You know, I'm just going to take a chance and think Kansas is going to score like seventy two points more. Or more. I, I, you know, I mean, obviously, there's value on the money line if you like Villanova. Um, if you like them a lot, there's people going to bet them to win straight up. I'm sure. Um, it's so. tough. It's a, it's a look. It's a tough game. It's a tough yeah, game. It's uh, it's also tough. You know, you know, Villanova's going to have to play some. They're, you're going to have to try to steal some minutes, and Kansas maybe be able to get some points in those games. I mean, that's why sometimes that under is tough because, you know, if even if Villanova's keeping the game close, like, and they're scoring and going, it's probably going to be a little bit higher scoring game because some of those guys coming in off the bench are going to have to try to slow these guys down. And I don't know, you know, maybe that's where Kansas could maybe get 10 or 12 extra points. Yeah. The 133 also, you know, Villanova is a team that really has to knock down threes to win this game. And, and they, at times they do, at times they don't, they really haven't shot the ball well throughout the whole tournament. Um, So if, they are on from beyond the arc. I could certainly see this game going over 133. I would go as far as to say if if I had a points bet in this game, I I would maybe use if I if you said you, you need to use a points bet for one of these three games, the, the two semis in the final, I would use it in this game and just say, listen, there's a chance Kansas wins this by 20. If nothing goes, if Villanova doesn't knock any shots down and they get in a little bit of foul trouble. And like you know, the the guys coming in don't play well. I think there's more of a chance Kansas wins by 20 than like Villanova. I, I, that's a valid point. I mean, I could see that. Uh, no, I just you know a lot even, of stuff even though I'm taking four and a half. Day in this game, yeah. a lot. Of, it's it's it's. I mean, it could happen because a lot of stuff went you know a lot of stuff went their way in that last game against Houston. I mean, Houston was you know awful. I mean, it could that that. That Elite Eight game was one of the worst games I've ever seen. I, we were watching it at Daisy's, and I'm just like, man, this game is atrocious. Like, it was just atrocious. Nobody could make a shot. Yeah. And it wasn't. It wasn't like. Uh, it wasn't like Villanova was playing defense. Houston was missing like layups. It was. Well, they, they really all season that was kind of the way they went about. They were a great defensive team and a great rebounding team. Uh, right. They at times had trouble scoring. That's what showed up, you know, in in. In that game, you know, Kansas, look, they're the, they're the only number one seed left. They wiped out Texas Southern. They beat Creighton, a, a feisty Creighton team, uh, by seven. Uh, they took yeah. care of Providence. Uh, again, a Providence team that they had uh, really down and out. They came back uh, 66-61, and then uh, they they did what they had to against a, a team that really, that a 10 seed that, again, if it wasn't for they're St. Peter's. They're losing time. Yeah, and then six. all of a sudden, like said, the game I, I, I bet the game lot. I actually yeah. got Kansas minus two and a half before the first half ended. Uh, I had Kansas minus two and a half. And it was so over. I was so happy it was over that. two minutes into the second half. It yeah, was I, was, I was, I was, I was thrilled with that live bet yep. uh, on that one. So again, four and a half Kansas. Uh, 
genius is going to go with Kansas minus the four and a half. I'm going and to take like Villanova the team total. Kansas. I'm going to go Villanova plus the four and a half. He likes team total. I think the game goes over. By the way, I don't think Villanova wins the game if this game goes under. Um, I don't know if Nery can give us a, his opinion on this one or not. Uh, I'm going to go Nova in this one. Uh, you know, I know they have their player out, but I think just Jay Wright, like you guys were talking about, uh, you know, I think he just has a lot of experience on this team, and uh, I. I see somebody on the wall or a couple Wildcats stepping up and squeezing out a close one here. Yeah, I can see I can see that happening as well. Uh, so in, in that, so uh, that is the game one in New Orleans. The Big Easy will be hopping six oh nine Eastern time start Saturday uh, with the winner facing the winner of UNC Duke. We're going to get to that in a moment. Remember, go to howtobet.com. Various sports books around the country. You're going to get uh, you're going to get a chance to make uh, you know shop. You're going to get a chance to shop around. Uh, there are there are you know like I said various different sports books around the country. Go to howtobet.com. Go to the link. Open it up. You're going to see a wide range of, of money line bets. You're going to see different states with different promotions. Uh, so uh, go there early. Go there often. You watching this on YouTube, please. Hit that like button, and the the notification bell, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We appreciate it. Uh, remember to go to howtobet.com. When we come back, we are going to break down UNC Duke, the moment that the genius has been waiting for. We're going to do it after this. Remember to go to howtobet, howtobet.com. Let's go.